Ladies and gentlemen, it is main event time. It is the New England debut of Zack Sabre Jr., the winner of the Battle of Los Angeles out of Pro Wrestling Guerrilla and the current Rev Pro Heavyweight Champion out of England taking on one half of Death by Elbow. He is that young knockout artist, Chris Hero. I'm joined right now by Tony Nelson. To the, who is Tony Nelson? You are Troy Nelson. Thank you, Troy Nelson. Top shelf Troy here. Thank you for that, that history lesson there, Steve Weiner. And I'm gonna give you a little history lesson, someone being from Rhode Island. The fine state of Maine has never, has never seen a professional wrestling match quite like the one they are about to see right now as that knockout artist, Chris Hero, goes one-on-one -on -one with Zack Sabre Jr. In Maine, Stephen. In Maine, this is Zack Sabre Jr.'s Northern New England debut. He makes his Southern New England debut tomorrow in Somerville, Mass. For Beyond Wrestling, where he'll face the Firebrand Brian Fury. As we see a handshake of sportsmanship right here. We got a man that taps people out against a man that knocks people out. Absolutely. I'll this tell you what. I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb early here, Stephen. Pick me a winner. I'm putting you right on the spot right away. Well, I love Chris Hero, and I love Death by Elbow. But honestly, I gotta go with Zack Sabre Jr. because he's very unknown here in New England, although he's known throughout all the world. And then again, don't forget, while there might be the first time these two are meeting here, as we see a beautiful tie-up to start this match and some gentlemen sportsmanship of a clean break, these guys have fought over a dozen times in almost every kind of match all over the world, including Japan and England. And of course, these two are the final two of three men in the finals of last year's Battle of Los Angeles. Of course, including Speedball Mike Bailey. It came down to these two after Hero eliminated Bailey, and of course, Zack Sabre Jr. got the Duke. Absolutely, and you want to talk about a field of talent. Think about all the other people, all the other nights that they had to go through to get to that point. And we're going to rekindle the flame right now with Chris Hero and Zack Sabre Jr. I have to go with Chris Hero. Chris Hero, the consummate veteran, has more to prove still now. All these young kids like Zack Sabre Jr., big show tackled by Chris Hero, are out to prove something, and Chris Hero needs to put them in their place, and I think he's going to do just that tonight. Oh, Hero going for one of his patented Yakuza kicks. Snapmare takedown by Mr. Zack Sabre. He's going off the buckle. We were going to see some British wrestling there. There's a counter There's there. Hero with that rolling elbow. He loves to knock people out with that. Zack Sabre Jr. says no. And the crowd here in Orono, Maine is showing their appreciation, Stephen. Indeed. Now, if I'm not mistaken, clearly this is Zack Sabre Jr.'s debut for Limitless Wrestling. But if I'm not mistaken, this is also Heroes. But it seems like the fans here in the state of Maine are very familiar with Chris Hero. Absolutely. Chris Hero, uh, a veteran of professional wrestling, going through all of the major independent promotions, including but not limited to Ring of Honor, Combat Zone Wrestling, Pro Wrestling, Guerrilla, TNA. IWA Mid-South. Was it early NWA? TNA competitor, and yes, even NXT, formerly known as Cassius Oh No. And let's not forget Pro Wrestling Noah, where he currently calls home along with Beyond Wrestling. Absolutely. Zack Sabre Jr., no stranger to WXW in Germany. In addition to Progress, beat a guy named AJ Styles a couple weeks back. At Red Maybe Pro. you've heard of him. That's right. I believe he was the last person to face AJ Styles before his surprise debut in World Wrestling Entertainment just about six days ago. Absolutely. And here and we now, are now. Let's Zach focus on Sabre this. Jr. In the time-honored tradition of men like Johnny Saint, a beautiful I, bridge. I knew we were going to get at least one Johnny Saint, Saint uh, men popping in there. Absolutely. And I love that guy. You take a look at all of these young British wrestlers, and they've kept the time-honored tradition of cash wrestling alive, like people like Johnny Saint, people like Johnny Kidd, Rollerball Mark Rocco, Kung Fu. Uh, Gold Belt Maxine even, one of my favorites. And one of my favorites is Kung Fu. He, Kung Fu. Was, he was a British wrestler. He counts. I do remember. This is true. Uh, you take a look at somebody like Zack Sabre Jr. And let's not that. forget the great... Finley and of course Lord Stephen Regal, yeah, more known to our fans as William Regal. Yeah, absolutely. Steve Stephen Turtle Wine just name dropping over here. Name dropping all these stuff. And right there, I'm talking about I've been in there just like you have, Steven. I've been known to go toe to toe, pull to hold with people, but never with the likes of somebody like Zack Sabre Jr. and Chris Hero. I mean, like, I've never seen Hero strike like this before. Putting him in some sort of the modified surfboard. Strike. It actually looks like he was going. It looks like he was going for a modified version of the Tower of London, or otherwise known as a stretch plum, if he lifted Absolutely. his leg up. Now Hero's got a, a little got grape a vine there. Grape finding that leg, and more, more importantly, focusing on the ankle of Zack Sabre Jr. Including the heel. ah, just putting all of his weight on it. Putting all that, see, and there's a cravat. Absolutely, that's the bread and butter of Chris Hero, that cravat. He can hit it on the ground. I've seen him hit it in the air from the top row, Steven. 
And he, he, not he just a submission hold, he can turn that into a driver very well and very quickly. Indeed. He may not create a cravat, but he definitely definitely made it popularized in the sport of professional wrestling. Absolutely. Honing the skill. Using that move, the cravat. Absolutely. Putting the pressure there. He has been known to use a spinning neck breaker called the Hero's Welcome, but he hasn't utilized that in a while. As we see Zack Sabre Jr. doing something very rare. He's going to be looking for some sort of an arm bar, and he's going to be working over that arm. He took We've care of that. Wait a minute. What kind of arm bar is that? That was a beautiful roll there by Zack Sabre Jr. Trying to grab that right arm of Hero. Hero saying no, but Zack Sabre Jr. very much has it now. No, 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 no. And then we put him in a maneuver like this, Steven. Yes, you're all, you're trying to put the hold on like that, but it gives him a chance to rest. He's in control with Hero's arm like that. He's going to have him going nowhere. And just like that, Hero proves me wrong. And now he's got side headlock. Zack Sabre was trying to push him off, but Hero says, oh, no. Yes, I did. Oh, no. Too much. Too much, Steven. Too much. But he, he takes him down with a side with a headlock takedown. Now he's got him in a side headlock. And now working on the wrist as well. Roman knuckle lock there on the ground into the head scissors. Oh, the putting best. him up and arching up, adding even more pressure. The blood flow cannot go up that way, Stephen. Of course, Zack Sabre clearly started out in the country of England, or continent of England, or country of England, but he's often modernized a lot of professional wrestling. Like Hero, I should mention, Zack Sabre Jr. also has wrestled for Pro Wrestling Noah. Absolutely. Zack Sabre Jr. getting testy with that but leg, Chris Hero says. No. Mr. ZSG. ZSJ, I'm sorry. That's Zack Sabre Jr. Don't let Zack Sabre down. Oh, and chop count one. Welcomes him back into the ring with a plate of chops. Looks like Hero was getting frustrated there and decided, I don't know if Zack Sabre Jr. can get dirty, but I know Hero can get dirty as dirty can come. Absolutely. That this hero since returning to the independent scene is not just reinvented himself, but like I said, it feels like he has something to prove to all these young stars that he, yes, has mixed it up with Zack Sabre, but so many other new stars that he has not had the opportunity to face yet and will in the near future. And Zack Sabre Jr. leapfrogs over. Oh, this is Shades of Johnny Saint. If we see the Lady of the Lake tonight, Steven. There I it is. I'll do. That was lit. I, I thought there was it, though, but here it comes. Looks like he was going for the alligator clutch. We were this close to seeing both the alligator clutch and Lady in the Lake. Zack Sabre Jr. not positive for that. Oh, Yakuza! Oh Bicycle kick! He almost spilled that woman's Coca Cola. Those aren't cheap up here in Maine. Yes. You're right, Coke isn't cheap in Maine. Absolutely. And this is going to allow Chris Hero to get, grab a breather and. Hero, not the type to take a count out victory, but in this case, I don't really want any more of Zack Sabre Jr. I should point this out because I know for firsthand that Hero has tremendous experience in this kind of a ring that, we're, that we call a pony ring. He's been known learned to do, that earlier, I heard, Steven. Yes, he was actually the one who told me that's what this ring is called. He's been known to fly and do many kind of moves that are not normally done for men his size in this type of ring. Now, I'm not sure what the count out, the count number for a count out here is if it's 10 or 20. Oh my goodness. Zach, Zach Sabre not taking chance. Beautiful drop kick to the face by Hero. And there's a set time. Beautiful set on effective by Hero right on the midsection of Zach Sabre Jr. I see the streamers have come out tonight. Cover. There's cover. Oh, you got to hook the leg man, as Gabe Prezak would say. You got to hook the leg man. Chris Hero beside himself now, a little bit surprised, looking in disbelief. I'm not sure why Hero should be surprised. He's faced this man almost a dozen times all over the world. He should know it's going to take more than that to put this man away. But with that said, Stephen, who, who else would know Zack Sabre Jr. like a Chris Hero, who, like you said, knows the man in and out a dozen times? I'm oh. left to believe that he thought he had him. And I think that Yakuza kick from the outside is what... That was the bread and butter for this one. But don't forget that Zack Sabre went, went so flying, he landed on a woman that made a cushion to fall. No. And that looked Excellent. like a headbutt, I believe. I turned my head for a second, like could have sworn that was like a, like a headbutt of some kind. And here we go, Hero getting dirty. I wouldn't call it dirty, Steven, perhaps gritty. But both men knew what they signed up for when they decided to come to Orono, Maine tonight. And just jabbing him with the knee. Well, they knew they were going to be under fire, as the name of this show is called. And they want to leave a lasting impression to all these fans here in Orono, Maine. Did I say the name of the town right? Yes, First you did, sir. First time saying it, thank goodness. 
Now Hero in control. He's going to whip Zack Sabre off. What's he going to go for here? No Zack Sabre counters. Goes Where? through again. Is this the lady? Oh! And a big European uppercut. Sabre Jr. with another, almost taking himself off of his feet. The trifecta of European uppercut. I'm not sure if they got all the streamers underneath the ring. Hero's not going around the circle. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Catches him again. See, Zack Sabre I Jr.'s head bouncing off that gentleman's knee. A little added bonus for Chris Hero. Oh, my Elbow goodness. into the chair, and Zaper is sitting up. He's still sitting up. Try not to injure that woman's Coca-Cola again. I think he was running her head for good luck. Uh, interesting. Not my first way to get good luck, but Chris Hero now jaw-jacking here. The referee, the official. Now, referee using discre using parental discretion, deciding not to lay a count and let these two men battle. What kind of discretion is he using, Steven? Parental discretion. He's using parental discretion? It could is, be. Are you advising that he use parental discretion, Steven? Yes, I am. All righty. Hero now. Hero is taking control of modified cravat there. Now he's got him by the ears. Oh my goodness. And and Zack Sabre forced to listen to Hero and he sits his ass down. Part of my Absolutely, language. no seat there. Seats taken. And the fans seem to be moving because they're sensing that here we're about to see a flying hero. I can only imagine. These fans want to take a trip to Elbow City. Maybe that's the next town over. Oh, I think I know what he's going to go for. I said Tom oh on my the floor! Goodness. The ring does not have any give. I don't even want to begin to talk about that unforgiving floor, Steven. Oh, and now a knee! Driving a knee to the throat of Zack Sabre Jr. is now covered in sparklers of sorts. I'd like to point this out that, like Xavier Bell, Zack Sabre Jr. does not wear a knee pads. That's got to be a disadvantage, especially since we don't have mats here. And now, I, if I'm correct, I know what Hero's going to go for. He's going to go for his flying senton over the top. He's been known to do this in this type of ring. You want to talk about this type of ring? He's been known to do this in this type of ring. I'm pretty confident he's going to go for it. Let's see if I'm right. Ladies and gentlemen, Zack Sabre Jr. is not going anywhere. Everybody out of the pool! And Sabre moves out of the way, look at this! And he got an octopus hold, Steven! He made a An octopus hold on the outside! He's, he's tangled Hero up somewhat in the in those streamers! Wait a minute, Hero's, Hero's not going out! The octopus hold on the outside! Sabre knew it was coming, but Hero also was able to counter! This has got to be a fact. You can't get to the ropes if you're outside the ring, Steven. That doesn't count. No, he can do anything he wants to him right now. Yeah, but so can Hero. If can Hero you please passes, stay away from us, gentlemen, please. Steven, now they're inside the ring. If he can get in, that would be a rope break, and I do believe it is. No, Hero was using the ropes to break Saber off him. That was genius. The ropes sort of separated Hero and, and Saber, and now Hero rolling to the outside, so Saber can't capitalize on that. But Saber's going right after Hero. Puts the boot, gets it in a back elbow by Hero. He's been known to use many kind of elbows. Look for a rolling elbow. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no, Chris Hero. That's the knockout elbow. That oh. knockout elbow had no give on the steel post, Steven. I, I understand what you're saying, but I'm telling you, he just used the elbow he's been known to knock people out with. And now Sabre sees that. He's going to weaken that. Look at this. Oh, don't even tell me. You want to talk about ah! You want to talk about dirty, Steven? That was about as gritty as it gets. In the words of Bad Company, dirty for dirty. Oh, oh my goodness. These are all unforgiving shots by Zack Sabre Jr. here at the expense of Chris Hero. I pray that Hero's not going to need to go to the hospital tonight. Especially here in Orono. Why? What's wrong with Orono Hospital? Oh my goodness. You been? I have been. What was wrong with you? Too much of that uh, Caribbean rum? I'd prefer not to talk about that. Oh, fine. Zack Sabre Jr. now. Even a simple hold like that is excruciating for Chris Hero. And Hero, wait, wait, he's done. God, look at this. You got to break him up. You got to break him up. He, referee stopped that count. He's that absolutely. He's trying to, I think he's trying to make sure. I'm telling you, Zack Sabre, using psychology, he's going after the arm that Hero not uses to knock people out. He's been known to use the other arm, but that's not the arm that can knock someone out. I'm not here to discuss which which elbow would knock me out of Chris Hero hitting the elbow. I'm pretty sure he'd do a pretty good job with either, but 
You said the padded up elbow, Steven, is his go-to. Yeah, but both of them are padded, but I'm telling you, the arm that's usually right with would be the stronger arm because it also, the hand connects to the, to the tricep and it connects to the bicep and it connects to the elbow. Steven Weiner, MD here, giving me the biology of Chris Hero's elbow. Zack Sabre Jr. going tit for tat now, stepping on the hand. Now he's going for circle, but Hero will get to the ropes. I Hero in a rush for those ropes. I will say this, Zack Sabre, at least not even me in the count to break the hold. Zack Sabre a little bit beside himself now, Steven, trying to figure out what he can do here to Chris Hero. Look at him, he's the, wasting a little bit of valuable time now. You've got the man weakened, you've got to stay on him, especially that elbow. Well, this match has no time limit. We are going to have a winner tonight, no matter how long it takes. Hero has been known to wrestle very long matches. He's wrestled a 93-minute match years ago. But like I said, that's been years ago. Absolutely, but Chris Hero came to Maine tonight to compete. Hero's going Chris strong. Hero says no. Hero's going strong now on Esto Pierre. Both these men, regulars and Noah. Oh. oh he, that connected, but Hero caught it. He took the kick and caught it. Oh, but he caught the knee. Dust the kick. Sweeps him with the leg. Shades of... Shinya Hashimoto. Shinya Hashimoto, former may New Japan Pro Wrestling heavyweight champion, founder of the Zero One promotion. May he rest in peace. Chris Hero, I do believe. Did he spend time in Zero One, Steven, to your recollection? I will have to ask him later on. There's an a elbow. An elbow. Now Saber going for a double. And it's, we got some vintage British wrestling. Gets him with another. He knocked himself out, Steven. Zack Sabre Jr. Look at that Irish whip. Oh, Hero's pissed. Hero, Hero puts is pissed. On Look the brakes. I can see the fire in Hero's eyes. Oh, beautiful kick. That may have knocked him out. I didn't know Hero knew how to do a roundhouse kick. Or Always improving his game, Steve. Hero now looking for a little bit of a belly to back. No. On the corner. Ah, Tornado DT. Tornado DT. Oh, he was holding on to it, though. Kick to the this beautiful shot Bicycle to the chest. Kick. One, two, and the belt. I thought you were going to be able to ring the bell there. I'm not the timekeeper tonight. I will be tomorrow night for Beyond Wrestling, but I'm not in charge of the time tonight. I'm just the lead commentator tonight. Yes. Oh, you're the lead commentator, I see. Yes, I called most of the matches. I was told to that with my title would be lead commentator. Fantastic. We'll get you some sort of a plaque for that. Thank Zach you. Zack Sabre Jr. Back up on his feet. And so is Hero. Let's not put that down. I love Zack Sabre's gear, and I love Hero's gear, by the way. I want to just throw that out there while I have a moment. Zack Sabre going for something. Hero back drops him off to the apron. Hero with a boot to the face. Zaber still on the ropes, though. Hero again with a bicycle kick. Zaber going down. Sabre Jr. He wants more from Hero. I love his British accent, by the way. Sabre's just standing there. Why is really he not moving? accepting it. A slap to the face. Very disrespectful by Chris Hero. But he's still holding on. And Saber will not let go of those ropes. Hero is getting upset, but you gotta know that elbow's gotta be killing him now. Oh, oh, see, I'm right, see? The elbow, he went for his elbow with the knockout elbow. And that hurt him, but he's getting upset. Oh, Saber back in. Oh, what's Close this? over. Gonna be looking for a pinfall. Get to the pin. Oh, one two Only count. gets two. And you can see even there, Steven, when he folded him up, he put pressure on the elbow by just putting his feet over the elbow, and he was in pain, Steven. I got to give Hero credit for kicking out of that. Especially with the way his elbow must be killing him. We got to make sure to have the bags of ice ready. He has a chop from the knees sends Sabre down to the mat. And another. Oh, that's going to leave an imprint on Sabre, but Sabre's sitting up. Like Zero. Undertaker. Starting to lose feeling in his fingers. But Saber's still conscious. I gotta give him credit. He is still conscious, just pulling on the trunks now of Hero to pull himself up. Oh, right across the back. But that hurt Hero as much as it hurt Saber. Absolutely. It's what I said at the beginning of this match. As Hero rips off part of his elbow pad, Hero likes to knock people out. Saber likes to tap people out. If you hear these echoing, I don't know if the DVD is going to do this match justice. So what that sounds like in here, Steven. Hero with a big kick. That mafia-esque kick. Hero, I think, is... He's reaching to the heavens for something. 
I think you could sense that it's almost I time. I know that elbow's hurt, but it could be time to bring that elbow pad down, Steven. If you catch my drift. I do, bone but... Bone meeting bone. Can he get Saber up? He's been known to use a pile driver in the past. I want to point that out. <laughs> Zack Saber Jr. says no. Many times over. No way, no way, no way. And no way as well. Hero could use a deadlift over his, if he could just get enough power into his arm. I say, pulling up with that elbow, Steven, is just it's too Look, look, like he's able to do it, though. He's actually able to do like it. Look, for a cradle pile driver, Steven. No, I know what he's going for. Gosh, style pile driver. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, no, a counter by Saber. It's, it's a submission. That's an arm bar. Hole the arm bar. It's an, but that's not the arm that's hurt, but look at this. Yeah. That Kimura that, that's lock. a Kimura lock with a great fight across the body. Hero is near the ropes, though, but Hero does not want to use the ropes to break this hole. What's this going to be? No, Hero breaks out of it. He's holding on. A dead leg. Ah! Vintage Chris Hero. But you notice that, though. He went to hook the leg, but he couldn't do it. He could not hook the leg. He was lying on his own arm, the damaged arm. He realized he couldn't hook the leg, and he just put forced all his body weight, hoping that would be it. And both men are down. Both men are down, and the crowd is coming alive. See? We have a strict ten count on the floor. That'll be a ten count in the ring. And the people of Maine showing their support for this match. Both competitors came to Maine tonight to compete. This is limitless wrestling. Is their third it's show under fire? Zack Sabre Jr. back up. And a rolling elbow. And both men are down. Both men are down. There's a cover. Chris Hero. Oh, it's not over yet! Was mentored in his time in Japan by Michihiro Masawa. He gave him his own elbow pad and taught him the proper way to throw the rolling elbow. He has since, over the past few years, honed it and made it his own. And tonight he is hoping that that is going to be the difference maker against Zack Sabre Jr. Both men slow to stir after what we've seen. This match is going about 20 minutes plus right now, Steven. That gas has got to be wearing out in the tank, if you will. Well, remember, we will be here all night long if it takes us that. Despite the fact that we are in the midst of a starting snowstorm, we are going to see a winner. There is no time limit in this match. Zack Sabre Jr. being lifted up by Chris Hero. Could be looking for some of that, perhaps looking for that hero's welcome, that cravat driver. Sort of alligator cut to a hang. No, no, wait. Breaker. This is the. He was going for the. the Back next slide. Back slide. Only two. Gets yeah. the foot and eats the knee. Yeah. There goes the pad. I told you when bone meets bone, Steven, Chris Hero always Here wins. Here comes step by elbow. No saber counters it. It's going Fujiwara our bar. You got to break that wrist, kid, if you want to win the match. He's got the there he's got it locked! There's no escape now, Steven. What's he gonna he's do? He's got the head as well! Hero's face is turning purple! He's too far away from the ropes! Hero's face is turning purple! Zach's pulling back on the wrist and the fingers! Hero's gotta be in pain! Gotta be in excruciating pain, Steven. That right arm has been damaged so much, and Chris Hero inching ever so closer to the rope. And look at this! No, no, no. What in the world, Sabres? Sabres beside himself, Steven. He doesn't know what to do. Oh, no. Oh, the knuckles, the finger, that joint manipulation. Steven said it. Chris Hero says no. I don't even know what to say. Wait, look at this. Now he's focusing on the legs. Incapacitate every single body part that he can until he can get the victory. No. No. Oh. Oh, look at that. Just grabbing it with his fingers. Oh wait, Hero reverses! That's, 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 that's a pin! That's a pin! That's a pin count run! Oh. Only gets two. Joey Gleed slow on the count. No surprises there. I gotta give him credit. Make sure to at least check to see if the shoulders were on the mat. Oh, 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 that's it! Oh my god! Save your belt, eat your heart out! Oh 
only two. Gee, who said I'm only two? Hey. Steven, I'm going to ask you the question again. Pick me a winner. I, I, Pick me a winner right now. I can't. This is too close. I don't think the fans care who wins at this one. They're just happy that we that this match is even happening. The people of Maine have not seen competition quite like this, and this is the type of competition that Limitless Wrestling will bring to them every single time. This is awesome. This is awesome. Chris Hero to the first to stir to his feet, and Saber. Zach Saber Jr. is out. Saber knows he's in trouble now. He wasn't able to get up, get up in time. He's he's trying to save himself by just grasping on to Hero's leg. A neutralizer. Oh my goodness. I think Felix finally coming back to that arm. Oh my goodness. Stay down. Stay down, Saber. Could be looking for some sort of a tombstone. No, Saber countered. Pulls him through. He Wait, gets that's, a, that's a Johnny Saber! He got him! Just like that, Zack Saber Jr. turns the tide and defeats Chris Hero. Thank you everyone for joining us tonight. And with a Johnny Say type pin, Zack Saber Jr., the technical wizard, has picked up the victory from all of us here at Limitless Wrestling. We thank you very much for joining us, and we'll see you next time. I'm C. The Turtle Wider, signing off.